The new CorelDRAW licensing workflow for Teams ensures seamless license and device activation, whether you're using subscriptions or perpetual licenses with maintenance. The new Team Products in the Account Portal is where licenses are managed by the admin. Here's how it works. In this example, a company has purchased a new volume license for CorelDRAW Graphics Suite with included CorelShore maintenance for the first year. The license owner, or license admin, receives an email with proof of license, order number, and license import code. In this example, there are 20 CorelDRAW Graphics Suite volume, or perpetual, licenses with one-year maintenance. The email also includes a link to the license import page where the admin will sign in and enter the license import code. In the admin account, all imported products and licenses appear in the Team Products page. These products include a five-seat volume subscription from a separate purchase. For each product, the import pulls in a serial number, number of seats, and dates. The volume license maintenance is found on the maintenance page. In this example, I'm the admin and will invite one team member to accept one volume license. I'll click the Action icon and choose Manage Details. The other option is Downloads, which I'll show a bit farther on. This opens the Volume License Details, where I can see that I control 20 seats and none have been assigned yet. I'll click Invite and enter the team member's email address followed by a space, comma, or tab. Multiple comma-separated emails can be entered at once. I'll also add a message, which is optional, and click Send. The Product Licensing page now shows that one seat and one device were removed from my total, and are now assigned to the invited team member whose invite is pending. The invited team member now receives the invitation email, which includes the admin's message and a link to accept the invite. After clicking the link and signing into or setting up their Corel account, they arrive at their subscription products page. Note that the account email must match the email where the invitation was sent. The pop-up contains the product serial number, which can be copied, and product download link. Because this is a volume or perpetual product, details are found on the Perpetual Products page where any other licensed perpetual products will also be listed. For the member license just sent, the team member has one seat assigned, but devices is zero because the product is not yet installed. On the admin side, the invitation is no longer listed as pending because the team member accepted the invitation and claimed one seat. Devices will be listed as zero until the product is installed. Returning to the team member's account, the next step is to install. If they did not copy their serial number before, they can select and copy it here, or click View and use the Copy icon. If the team member needs the product download, they can click the Action icon and choose Downloads to access the Downloads page. After downloading the correct product, they can install and register using the assigned serial number. After installation, the team member also needs to authenticate using their Corel credentials. Now the team member's license shows one device claimed for the one seat. Clicking Action, Manage Details opens the product license page, showing device name and date registered. The serial number can be found here as well, along with another download link. Back to the admin once again, one seat and one device are now claimed. Clicking Action, Manage Details now shows which team member has claimed them. Now let's say that I, as the admin, have invited one more user, bringing the number of active members up to two and the available seats down to 18. And let's say the first invited team member needs to install the software on two more devices. Clicking the action icon for an active member opens a menu with several options. View member details opens the devices tab for just that team member where I can see the one installed device, serial number, and version. Back in the members tab, Add Seats enables me to assign two more seats to this team member. After clicking Apply New Seats, the team member now has three seats, though still just one device so far. The installation process for the two new seats will be the same as for the first. Download the product, install using the same serial number, and authenticate. If this team member attempts to install on too many devices, they will get a message that their device number is exceeded. When a team member has two or more seats, clicking the action icon produces an additional option, Remove Seats. I'll take one back, freeing up that seat for another user, and now the team member only has two seats, 
with 17 left to assign. Note that when a team member has one or more seats removed, all of their authenticated devices will be reset. This means that the user will need to sign into their Corel account again on each installed device that will remain active. The last action option is Remove Member. This will return all seats assigned to that member back to the available total, and the removed team member will no longer have access to any product on any device, though they could be invited back later. At this point, both team members have installed on three total devices. As the admin, I can open the Devices tab to see the three devices and, if needed, select devices and delete them. This would return available devices to team members. As we saw, I can also access device details for a specific team member where I can also delete one or more devices. Another common workflow involves leveraging admin licensing options for existing pre-2025 volume subscribers. Existing volume subscription licensees will initially find their subscription licenses in the subscription products section of their account portal with no action required yet. In my admin account, my team products include a volume subscription with five devices and a product serial number. Previous versions of CorelDRAW products did not support license assignment. Clicking Action, Manage Details shows that all devices are, for now, assigned to me, though some or all of these seats may already be in use by existing team members. Here are the recommended steps for using the new license assignment workflow for existing volume subscriptions. Open the Devices tab and select and delete all devices. This will deactivate all existing installations and team members will be asked to sign in when they next launch their installed products. Next, invite users as team members following the steps shown earlier in this video. Each user accepts the invitation, then signs in with their Corel account to reactivate all existing installations. Then they can install and authenticate the latest product version on their device using their Corel account and serial number. Note that admins can only invite as many members as purchased licenses. Each license, or seat, can be assigned to one member and allows for one device. Any additional seats assigned to a team member will be deducted from the total available seats. Also note that if the previous multi-seat subscription license had more registered devices than active seats in the subscription license, a device number warning will appear. All users will still be able to access the installed product on devices already registered but admins will not be able to assign additional seats to other team members or let team members install the new product version as long as the current license is in excess use.